I'm going to make a banana cake roll for you. It's going to be delicious. It's going to have a banana mousse in the center. I took six eggs and I separated them and we're going to start with the yolks. I'm going to put the yolks into my mixer bowl. One of them broke so I got to really scrape it out. There. And I'm going to add to that one quarter cup of water. And I'm going to put it on my mixer and I'm going to mix it for approximately two to three minutes until it gets lighter in color, like lemony color. lightened up and it's lemony in color and now we're going to add our flour give that a little whisk there I have one and one quarter cups of cake flour half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking powder I'm going to sift that over it just so that we don't have any lumps in there because sometimes you have little lumps in the flour. Okay, I have a few. Just crush them up. That's fine. Put it back on the mixer just to blend. Take out our beater. Get rid of that. Just give it a stir. Make sure you get any flour that's around the edges mixed in. And it's much thicker now. So now we need to lighten it up. So if you are fortunate enough to have a second mixer bowl like I do, now you're going to do your egg whites. If not, you would have to transfer this mixture into a regular bowl then wash the bowl and do it over. Six egg whites and one teaspoon of cream of tartar. This gives the egg whites a little bit of stabilizer. And now we're going to beat these until we get soft peaks or until this part gets uh, not soft peaks yet but I want to have it frothy because then I'm going to add some more sugar. Okay, 
now we're going to blend it into the other mixture. So in order to do that, we're going to take maybe a third of the whites for the first batch. This will just loosen up the, the heaviness of this other batter. And you don't have to be as careful folding these. You might deflate these a little, that's fine. The smell of banana is really strong. Okay, now we'll add in the rest of the egg whites. And this time you want to be a little bit more careful because you want to keep in as much of that air as possible that you just beat into all those egg whites. This is a very good uh, cake roll recipe. If you don't want the banana flavor, you could have left that out and just made it a vanilla flavor. Or you could have added lemon if you wanted to, or orange, to make it your own. Now we just folding in, down the middle, over. Such a beautiful batter. I love this, this cake recipe. Okay, they're all blended. Now we're going to do something a little on the fun side. I'm going to remove some of this batter. That's a quarter cup measure I have in my hand. And I'm going to remove maybe two, one and a half of those. There's no science to this. It's, this is guesswork here. But you'll see what I mean and what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that aside. And to this, I'm going to add some red food color. One, two, three drops. Let's see what kind of color we have. And whisk that in. Oh, nice. It's kind of a bright pink. I think I might add just a little bit more. probably wondering what I'm doing. You'll see in time. Good enough. Use my other spatula here. Okay. Now, we're going to bake this cake in a half, what they call a half sheet pan, or regular size cookie sheet. And what I did is I greased the bottom of the cookie sheet and I lined it with parchment paper. And now I'm just going to spray it with cooking spray. You want to make sure your cake comes out later. And I have a little squeeze bottle here. And I'm going to put this mixture into the squeeze bottle. I'm trying not to get it all over the table. And this is where your inner artist takes over. And it really depends. I'm not that artistic, um, but I'm going to give this a shot. And what I'm going to do is just all over here, I'm going to put a bunch of dots. I hope I have enough filling. doesn't matter where. If you could do the Jackson Pollock look and just do squiggles all over the place and or if you're really, you know, you could do multiple colors if you wanted to. But that would be kind of, I don't know, more for a kid's party, I would think. This is going to be a cake that's going to be decorated with strawberries later because strawberries and bananas go very well together. Okay. I think I've got many as I can fit on there. Putting extras on because some of these are going to get buried when you roll the cake. Okay. Then I have a toothpick and I'm sure you've seen this before. You just spread it out and you get sort of a stretched out heart. And they can go in different directions, the same direction. When I finish with this, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take this sheet pan with these dots. I'm going to put it in the freezer. And I'm going to leave it in the freezer for about a half an hour and let these dots set up. Because if I were to pour the cake batter over this right now, these would just spread out. This way, when I put them in the freezer, they'll set up somewhat long enough for me to spread the cake batter on it and get it into the oven. I've taken my dots out of the freezer. The pan is really cold. Here's the uh, cake batter. I'm just going to carefully put it on the top. And the oven is on at 350 degrees. I mean, it's been a half an hour and this cake batter, you know, just kept its fluff. It stayed nicely. Just carefully spread it over. Don't really push too hard. Even though those are partially frozen, you never can tell. You don't want them to become all mushed up. I'm going to cross my fingers that this is going to work out. I made, I made one of these like this about a week ago and I made just dots, regular dots, and it came out perfect. It was so cute. Okay, so now into my oven, 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes or until it gets lightly browned and it springs back when you touch it. Here we go. I just took the banana cake roll out of the oven, nice and hot. I've got a little knife here. I'm just going to run around the edges and make sure that we have no sticky parts. Looks good. Now I'm going to lift this out. Oops. Designs all over the top. Now I'm going to slide it onto a rack because I want some. That's really the trickiest part is, is the, all the flavor. But this is a spongy cake, so we can take it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it cool. And after it cools, I'm going to trim off the, the, the hard edges just a little bit just so that it will roll better without. Uh, cracking. Normally at this point with a cake roll you would have rolled this out on a confectioner's sugar covered towel and rolled it up. But because of this design we have a we don't do that. But it'll be flexible enough to roll later. So we'll let it cool and then we'll fill it. We're ready to finish up our banana cake roll. Cake is all cool. I've got my ingredients for the filling. We're going to flip this cake one more time. <laughs> Put another piece of parchment on there, turn it, and peel off this one. And don't worry if part of the cake sticks and comes, this is going to be the inside of the cake, so it's not going to show. Get rid of that. I have a long serrated knife, and I want to kind of cut off the ends because they are a little on the hard side, harder than the rest of the cake. I'm going to put those off to the side. The birds are going to get a treat this afternoon. Okay, this one. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the sides. We'll see how it goes. In my mixer bowl. One cup of heavy cream.
when it's almost whipped up completely, stop it. And I have one banana that I pureed in my little mini prep, which I'm going to add to this. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon banana extract. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we'll put it back on the machine and let it finish whipping up. You're going to put it in the refrigerator and it's going to set up even more for about an hour before serving. This is best eaten the same day you make it, but um, I have been known to uh, not bypass it the second day. one big roll. Alright, just need a little, oh, we lost a little bit of the filling on the counter. No big shakes. I'll clean it up in a minute. Anyways, what I will do is I'm going to probably cut these ends off and have a taste, you know, just to make sure it's good for everybody else. And then it'll look a lot prettier in the end. You can also dust this with confectioner's sugar if you want to. And I would decorate it by putting strawberries along the side just to kind of give it a little bit of color. So there is your banana cake roll with banana mousse.